In this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about planning content in Airtable for your marketing department or as a content creator or any of that. So I'm gonna jump here into this Airtable interface. What I have here, this is what I use all day every day is just a place to enter ideas. So I have an idea, boom, add it in this form. Uh, if I just use this video as an example, this is marketing planning. This is an idea. This is just there uh, just so that it works for the demo because I have a lot of other ideas that I didn't want to clutter this up with. So over here, I have this marketing planning. I can now add different things. So I had ideas all day long. This is now a place where I can capture them and I can come back later and I can build them up into a marketing brief. So once it gets in here as an idea, I have two things that I need to fill it out, fill out to make it into a marketing brief. I need to enter a purpose and enter an audience. So if I enter an audience, these are going to be marketing professionals. The purpose of this is to show how easy marketing planning is without Google Docs, Reich, or Monday. So all of this is just going to be within Airtable. That's the purpose of this brief here. Later on, I'm going to be adding in some notes. So I will have the raw files link of this video that will go right there. If I had any other notes, like if uh, maybe I like accidentally included something like note for editor, well, specifically video editor, blur X, Y, Z. So I've entered all my details that I need. I can now submit this to be a brief. Once it becomes a brief, I can now come down here and start planning out some posts. So if I want to come down here, I'm going to say, this is going to become a YouTube video. So it's going to be the name of the video is going to be marketing planning in Airtable. Whoops. The type of post is going to be a long form video. And it's going to be on Ben Green YouTube. As we start entering some of this data, I'm actually going to say it's going to be on Tuesday the 17th and it's going to be planned. As we're entering some of this, you're going to see some things pop up down below, hopefully. Uh, those are some deliverable templates. So that's going to be for a long form video. And then I'm also going to do a short form video also for Ben Green YouTube. If I click and drag these down, it's going to plan that. So that's how deliverables automatically get created from your marketing posts. You use a template that automatically generates them just like you see here. After you do that, you can, like if I name this a short now, you can also go review this. So if you want to refine, okay, for a short, I actually know I don't need raw files a second time. I don't need title, description, or thumbnail. I'm going to delete those. And I actually need a YouTube short instead of a long form video. So now you can start plugging things in here, but you have to just keep in mind, this is still in the brief phase right here. So marketing planning is still down here. I want to move this into production. Like I want to get the team going on this after I get done recording this video, it's going to be a good file to go for development. And I also know I want to make it into a LinkedIn post. So Ben Green, LinkedIn, that's also going to post on the 17th. And I'm going to say that's planned. And this is going to be a, uh, just like a, a video for LinkedIn where I'm going through, uh, marketing planning walk through. So now you'll notice also down here, I have that LinkedIn post where I need some long form social copy for that. So now I want to move this into production. I have a button that should be showing up here, but it's like, oh, why is that not showing up? That's because I haven't assigned any deliverables yet. So I have some creators in here. It's myself and Warda. And if I start assigning myself to these things, you'll notice, okay, bam, we're at 50%. Let's go add another one. We're at 67% now. That button still hasn't shown up. The reason for that is I need to assign creators to each of these so that I can uh, move it to production. 
So now that 100% of the deliverables are assigned, I can now move it to production. This idea is now in production. Eventually, I'm going to do some data analysis on how this went, and then I can move it to live. So that is, I don't know a better way to say it, soup to nuts, like the entire workflow, all of marketing planning, everything that you would need to do to, at least for the social aspect. I mean, there's obviously different parts of marketing, like there's uh, growth, there's paid ads, there's email, there's there's like so many different ways we could take marketing. This is mainly geared towards a social tracker, uh, but now I can start assigning things to different different of our creators and start tracking SLAs, start tracking due dates, and these posts are gonna get out on time. So that's how you do it. This is as far as we've made it in here. Let me know if you have any questions down in the video. If you want to see how a little bit of this was done, check out the video here in the end screen. And uh, it'll take you to that first video that we made on this. So you can watch watch it from the beginning. I'll see you in the video. And if you want help building stuff like this, check out the link in the description. But if you just want to build it yourself or at least try to get there, go check out the video here in the end screen and it's going to take you right there. I'll see you there.